All right, so I just finished watching The Redeem Team on Netflix, which is about the 2008 Olympic men's basketball team, and it is fire. I'm talking gas. I'm talking cash. I'm talking I'm talking really really good. Going to do a quick review here starting with the intro. I really like the way they introduced the entire thing, talking about all the negativity from uh the 04 Olympic team and how the expectations were kind of squandered now for uh, USA basketball. The storyline was great. They briefly covered each Olympic men's basketball team starting from 1956, with journalists like Sam Smith spending decades telling their own perspectives. But after that, it was a lot of LeBron, Kobe, and D. Wade's perspective, which was very enjoyable. The music was good. It wasn't my favorite, but it was very good. I'd give it about an eight out of 10. The pace was fantastic. I'd give that a 10 out of 10. Uh, You'd have a tough time pausing this thing. The dramatic aspect was amazing as well. I'd say probably like a 9 out of 10. And the camera work was crazy. That shit was an easy 10. Apart from like the player close-ups, there's a bunch of wide shots of the arenas and the surrounding cities and stuff like that. And that was really cool. My favorite people or my favorite like quote-unquote characters, I guess you could say. But my favorite people from... uh, from the actual documentary are probably uh, Coach K. Coach K's hard ass. I like how Coach K demanded respect for the international talents and for the international teams. And he also just had some funny quotes, which I'll mention in a second. Another one of my favorites was Mello. Mello was funny as shit too. And I thought he gave some really cool perspective too on like uh, Kobe and just the trip in general. And lastly, Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh was also funny as shit. Lastly, I'm going to go through my five favorite parts of the documentary, starting with the uh, situation where Coach K is telling them that he's not fucking losing. He says, I know I'm not fucking losing, not while wearing this. Not at this point in my career. You'll have to shoot me. Number two. Kobe goes to the gym at 530 when everyone's coming back from a party at the hotel. All the boys are coming back to the hotel and they see Kobe going to the gym at like 5.30 in the morning. And then all of a sudden the whole team starts going. That was sick. I like that part a lot. That set like the whole tone of intensity for the team. And I also love Melo's part when he's like, I'm going to be honest, I was not going there at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> that shit was pretty funny. Number three, another Kobe, uh, another Kobe part, uh, the craze in China. The Kobe craze in China. Carlos Boozer said that a girl fainted right in front of them just trying to get to Kobe. Number four, Kobe decks Pau Gasol in the first play of the game. I love how he told everyone on the team he was going to do it and nobody believed him. And then he goes and does it and everyone just loses their shit. That shit was funny as fuck. Chris Bosh's reaction was perfect. He was like, what the fuck? And last but not least, the Ginobili situation when they're preparing for Argentina. Coach K's film session for Argentina is literally a Manu highlight tape. I love how he hands out like all the newspaper article clippings to uh, the team players about like the Ginobili praise. Kobe gets the uh, Ginobili's the world's best shooting guard uh, article clip while uh, D. Wade's holding on to the article that says Ginobili's the world's second best shooting guard. <laughs> so they go to try to lock him down, but then obviously uh, Manu gets hurt, which is unfortunate. But the whole uh, preparation part was pretty funny to me. Those are my favorite parts. Those are my favorite characters or people or interviews, whatever you want to call it. Let me know what you guys enjoyed about it in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.